all the lovely spring, summer pieces are starting to come into M&S and I went in store the other day and saw loads of lovely pieces that I then went online to order in my size. So stay tuned if you want to see what I picked up. So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Hello if you're new, I do plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all that cup of tea, so don't forget to hit subscribe down below. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. So today we have a lovely M&S spring summer haul. I ended up in town having a mooch around M&S, saw lots of gorgeous inspiration, but alas, as we know, M&S do not want to put size 24 in their shops. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. So I ended up um, taking a note of the numbers of some of the things that I liked, putting them in my basket while kind of shopping in store. Because if I'm honest, if I'd have seen these items online, I probably wouldn't have chosen them. Uh, but to see them, find them in store, um, was a different experience. So please, m and please, 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 please put 24s back in store. Um, I, yeah, I, this was a local West Key store, um, but also over in Hedge End, if you're in like the Southampton area, there's just, they just never have 24s. I don't know if it's a, a local thing or if it's a glo like a, glo a national thing. Let me know down below if you find 24s in your m &S store. Are they just selling out locally? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, everything will be linked down below. That will be an affiliate link. So it just means I make a small bit of commission from the brand, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So it's a really great way to support my channel. Uh, just being 100% uh, transparent with all the links and such down below. Um, there's so many beautiful dresses and prints and patterns in this haul. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Also, also, we cannot forget, I'm not going to try these on. But of course, Nikki Nackies. Um, I saw these in the shop because I thought, wow, I used to be able to buy my knickers from there, but not anymore. Uh, so if you <laughs> if you peep yourself in town, you can't go buy yourself any knickers now. I got all of them online. You've got to wait the next day. <laughs> um, but these are now. Um, Asda have put their price up now. I think they're almost six pounds, six pound fifty. Um, and I feel like the M&S ones, I might as well just get the M&S ones. These ones are so cute. I love the plain colours. You've got navy, yellow, and then I oh, just, I love hot pink knickers. Uh, but then you've got these ones with strawberries and then these really fun ones with pineapples. I always get a 24 and these are just the full brief. Like, you know, let's, get, let's go all the way up to my belly button. It's comfortable. Uh, so yeah, I've got them. They're a new print. I think they also have like another new print that's like navy and green. Floral is cute, but I just want everything fruity. <laughs> anything fruity I want. So yeah, shout out to the knickknacks. I'll link them down below too. They also go up to a 28 in the knickknacks. So that's a, that's a promising thing. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the haul. So this was the first item that went into my basket and it is this gorgeous orange t-shirt. I just think anything with fruits um, is very, very like in this season, like this market fresh vibe. This t-shirt is a very thick, good quality t-shirt. However, I'm just quite surprised about the length. Like we are in like crop region here and they said it was an oversized fit. For me, this isn't oversized. For me, this is boxy. I just feel like they're, they're getting their like descriptions mixed up. Like oversized, I think would be a bit bigger than this, in my opinion. Um, but it is a really, really cute tee. It's really, really nice quality. But for me, I'm just not sure on the length. It's 17.50. Maybe I want to try it on with some other trousers too. Like it is a really cute outfit for spring, summer, especially more of like a spring, just because the t-shirt is a little bit thicker, but I just love the print. So let me show you the print a bit closer up. It says, how does it say? Orange Crush. 
local produce and I don't know if you can tell but the print does have a bit of shimmer to it it's such a nice quality print um I do really like it it is just I just wish it was a bit bigger <laughs> I wish the length was a bit bigger and it just feels like it's hitting me like on my biggest part which is just a bit frustrating because I thought I was gonna absolutely love this t-shirt oh so sad I thought, <laughs> I thought I was gonna love it but I'm on the fence I feel like I need to like maybe re I always re-watch footage whenever I'm like thinking about keeping something because I feel like it it's a telltale sign of ever whether something actually like suits you I love the print but yeah I'm not sure about the tea itself uh, I don't know let me know in the comments so this dress definitely caught my eye when I was in store. I absolutely loved the print with this khaki and like electric blue. I thought it was so, so pretty. It is a really nice lightweight cotton. Um, really nice for like every day. I was, the only thing is it is a little bit tight up here and it's like almost, I think it is almost too tight, which I'm just a bit gutted about because I really, really like this dress. Um, nice poofy sleeves. Let me give you a close up of the print. I also loved this square neckline, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's just like, it's doing that thing where the, the waist stops here, but my boobs, like my bra stops here. So it's just really frustrating. I could maybe wear this without a bra, but this is definitely something I'd want to wear into like the office, and I definitely want to wear a bra in the office. <laughs> so um, it is a zip fastening, um, but yeah, I just think, for just my boobies just like not helping the situation. Um, sheared back, it's a nice stretchy sleeve. So yeah, I love the dress, but for like how much it is, and for like how tight it is across my bust, it's, I think it's going to be a pass, which is such a shame because I actually thought I was going to keep this. I thought I was going to keep the orange t-shirt, but Eminence has proven me wrong today. I'm having a bad day with, with all these clothes that I'm trying on, but you win some, you lose some, hey guys. So here we have this really cute black cotton kind of camisole top. It is cute, but it is very, very tight on the boobies, and I just knew it was going to be when I took it out of the packet. It has no smocking um, on the back, it is a zip tie. There's also no adjustability in the straps. For me though, I think I wanna try this on without a bra. Um, so I'll, I'll probably just do this later. Um, yeah, because you will see it is, yeah, very tight on the bust, but also like it's, my chest is finishing here, like my bra's here and the top is finishing like here, I love this like rope embroidery. I think it's really, really cute. And like the straps are so like thin and like intricate. So that's why I think like as well, like maybe not wearing a bra with this would help. It is, um, it is just like a zip. I just think if they'd have done smocking on the back, this would have fit so many more people. Um, it's a really nice kind of like peplum, like cotton, flowy bottom but yeah the boobies are the issue so yeah I think it's really really nice but yeah if you have a bigger chest this isn't going to work out and um yeah it is just one piece of fabric it is a really nice length it's very very airy and breezy and I could definitely see myself wearing this on holiday as for like the zip I didn't obviously unzip this I just put this over my head and just <laughs> squeezed my boobies in but honestly I think if I like took my bra off um I think this would actually fit really nicely it's just because there's like padding and stuff so and also then you don't have to worry about like straps and like wearing um uh strapless bra um you could also wear maybe like a bikini top underneath that might be less bulky than like a padded t-shirt bra uh, obviously i know that's not for everyone not, not everyone could just like go around wearing uh without a bra but my boobs are kind of small for my frame so personally i think i get away with it um and i feel like this top as well will go with like so many um like other pieces like cute skirts 
denim jeans, linen trousers, this very versatile piece. So I think this is really nice, but I think smoking in the back would have just made this fit so many more people. Now, I don't expect to like this dress so much, but I actually think it's really, really pretty. It's a really unusual lime green sartreusey shade. I saw this in the window of M&S and I thought um, it looked really nice and different. I love the fact that it's a black print because you're able to kind of pick your black accessories to go with it and it just makes it really easy to style. It's quite a, it's a lightweight but thick material so you definitely don't need um, a lining underneath it. It is a little snuggy here but I think it's fine and I feel like it's definitely giving that kind of like kimono style top. Love the v-neck, think that's really really flattering. Uh, there's a little bit of elastication here which is also helping. m and sizing, I do find their 24s are quite small because they are literally just sizing up their regular range and they're never ever taking into account tummies and hips and bums so yeah i think i need to like look back at the footage and see how i feel i just think maybe sitting down it's not going to look the cutest but i think the color is really interesting it's really different love how like big the sleeves are so yeah i think it's definitely like different I'd wear this a lot to work, I think, in the summer, and I feel like it'd be really easy to like wash and dry. Like it's not a very creasy material. It's really pretty. I just I would love, I would have loved to have been able to size up potentially. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just feel upset about that last dress because I really wanted the last dress to work, but never mind. <laughs> tea is so lovely and soft and has such a pretty print all over it. I fell in love with these t-shirts a couple of winters ago with the long sleeve. They've got a really nice boxy fit and they have this kind of like, is it waffle or heathered? I think it might be heathered actually. Heathered material that's just so soft and feels quite like worn in but in such a good way. These t-shirts definitely have a like quite a nice loose fit so I always find like a 24. It, it's nice because it's like fitted but it's not too too fitted but you know it still has like a bit of like wiggle room. Really really comfy. We'll say, word of warning, never ever 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 tumble dry these t-shirts. They shrink every time so please 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 like remember try and remember that, like as much as possible to um not tumble dry them because i had a couple of accidents uh, with mine so um maybe put a post-it note or something on your washer because i i've got a washer dryer so i normally just go wash and then dry it and then without thinking so yeah a post-it note might be a good idea but let me show you the print it's so cute it's all of these gorgeous little like suns they're so pretty and just fun cash and as you can see like the heathered detail they all come with a little pocket they had um some that were like gradient so like um light blue to dark blue i think pink to, to dark pink um they had plain white but with like a is it a Baudelaire anglais like a lace pocket i love the fact that they're um low like designed all the way around as well it just feels like really nice quality um they're cotton as well so they're going to be really nice and breathable for the summer just a fantastic tea but with m s if you want a 24 you've got to like buy it buy it now that's why i'm doing all of my summer hauls really quite early because a lot of the popular stuff is already selling out guys it's already going and it is literally april when i'm filming this so yeah if you can try and buy stuff as early as possible this tea is so comfy super summery with the little suns or are they flowers i think they're suns but me and mum were looking at it and we were like are they suns are they flowers they could be both they could be sunflowers <laughs> but yeah just a lovely t-shirt you've got a little tiny v there as well really lovely details this is uh, a little bit more of an expensive t-shirt i think it's around 15 pounds but i think it's worth it and as long as i said you don't tumble dry it you'll get lots of wear out of it
Guys, I'm really sorry, but I forgot to film a clip for YouTube, but I do have one uh, from TikTok. Do go ahead and follow me on my TikTok at Becca Wren, where I'm posting a little bit more. So yeah, here's the dress. Another dress, another fail maybe. Um, this is part of their like beach range collection. And whenever it gets to like the, the body of the dress, it's, oh my god my hair guys it's from taking all these clothes off but from the body of the dress it always just goes a bit tits up because they cut it straight and I needed to go out a little bit <laughs> so like it fits it's fine it's just a bit too tight for me but then I think that's how it's meant to fit I don't know I quite like the um the fabric but I don't know if I'm just over off the shoulder as well like, I'm just not loving this dress either, guys. I'm so shocked. I was so excited. But yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I thought I would definitely try one of these dresses because they're only 20 quid. They're jersey. They're easy to wear. And yeah, good for the summer. They're fine. Um, for me, I would just rather pay a little bit extra and just pick something up from yours that fits a bit better. The uh, first tier is, isn't is long enough for my boobs, um, so it's coming up just, and that's a similar thing with the other dress, so I just think it's how they're like sizing things with the tiers. Uh, the next tier is fine, it's not too, too tight, but it's definitely like showing my figure a little bit. Um, I do love the print though, I thought the print was like really fun and like, as techy, the dress is fine, but I'm just not in love with it. Like if I'm packing a bag for holiday, I'm not like, oh, where's this dress? So I think if you're at like a more of a true 24, like I'm a bit more of a 24, 26, it will probably look a bit better, but they're definitely sizing up from their regular range. So if you have a more traditional plus size body, I don't think they're gonna fit as well as if you have a more kind of like regular body but just a bit larger because all my weight is on my belly and it's nothing's nothing's been it's just ugh, oh i'm just a bit exhausted but i was so excited for this mls haul and it's been a bit of a bit of a bummer <laughs> it's been a bit of a bummer guys i'm really sorry um <laughs> but maybe if any of you are like 24 or 22 it has been helpful but yeah i'm just I really wanted the green and I'm still hung up about that dress. So yeah, like it's fine. It's fine. It's a breathable material. It's an okay length. I feel like if you're just pottering around the garden or round at home or yeah, holiday or something like that, this dress could be fine, but it's, it's not blowing my socks off. And that's all I have to say. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below in the comments what your favourite pieces were. Don't forget, everything will be linked in the description box if you fancy picking any of those pieces up for yourself. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!